Hi, Adam here from Craftmoto. In this video, we'll give you an inside look at the new WP Explorer 4, show you how it works, and explain the differences between Explorer and the previous generation WP Open Cartridge Fork. Explorer comes standard on the 2017 KTM XCW, 6 Days, and Husqvarna FE models. Like the Open Cartridge Fork it replaces, Explorer has a 12mm damper rod, 23mm cartridge tube, and a 28mm base valve. Explorer also uses the same 3-port base valve pistons and has the same mid-valve piston on the right fork leg. Both forks use unsealed, unpressurized cartridges. Typical open cartridge fork designs use a compression adjuster at the bottom of each fork leg and a rebound adjuster at the top of each fork leg. The bottom adjuster controls fluid flow at the base valve, while the top adjuster controls fluid flow at the mid-valve. In contrast, Explorer has a single compression adjuster on the left fork cap and a single rebound adjuster on the right fork cap. There are no adjusters on the bottom of the fork. The difference here is not just cosmetic because the location of the adjuster determines what is being adjusted inside the fork. Explore right side. With Explore, the two fork legs are not symmetrical. The right leg provides all the rebound damping and about two thirds of the compression damping. The layout of the base valve, mid valve, and rebound is familiar, but WP used stiff valving settings to consolidate most of the damping force into one leg. The Explore rebound adjuster controls fluid flow at the rebound piston, which is the standard setup and is quite effective at fine tuning rebound control. The base valve is non adjustable and the cartridge tube is sealed with no leak other than the tiny gap between the cartridge bushing and the damper rod. Explore left side. This is where things get interesting. Explore's compression adjuster is located on the fork cap, so it's not physically connected to the base valve where compression adjustment normally takes place. Instead, the base valve is non-adjustable, like the right fork leg, and WP designed a unique mid-valve capable of adjusting compression damping. This valve looks trick, but it's very simple inside. This is not a cone valve or anything like a cone valve. It's an adjustable, fixed orifice valve. A plunger inside the valve can be adjusted up or down to change the port area where fluid flows through. A fixed orifice valve is just a hole. The fluid flow area does not change in response to the force applied. This produces a progressive damping curve with little restriction at low speeds and lots of restriction at high speeds. Sometimes people like the word progressive in relation to suspension, but a progressive damping curve is generally not desirable. It creates a mushy or wallowy ride that is harsh on sharp impacts. We measured Explorer's compression adjustment range on our suspension dynamometer. The graph shows Explorer with the compression adjuster fully closed at the midpoint and fully open. In comparison, here's a graph of the previous generation open cartridge fork. Here's a close-up of Explorer's low speed compression adjustment range. And the open cartridge fork shown at the same scale. Here's another unusual feature on the Explorer compression adjust leg. The top of the cartridge has been cross-drilled with enormous holes. The holes reduce pressure differentials in the fork and consequently reduce the amount of damping it can generate. We speculated a lot about why WP did this, and while we have some theories, we don't have a conclusive answer. Were the holes always part of the design, or did WP decide to add them after encountering a problem? If you think you know the answer, please share your conclusions in the comments below. If you would like to see our review of the Explore Fork's performance, please check out our video linked in the description or click on the link on screen. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Craftmoto channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.